This is the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kits and as you can see it comes with all the things that you're going to need to get started so that you can make fun shapes. Now right down here I actually have the metal jig and as you can see it has holes in it, many many holes. You have, you know, just about a 5x4 surface here to work on. The holes do go all the way through to the back. Now along with the jig you are also getting metal pegs which I really enjoy working with the metal pegs because they're nice and sturdy. You can see that you have a couple different sizes and what's really fun is that these pegs, these larger round ones, will allow you to make really nice hoops for your earrings, um, really cool circles, and then of course you have the smaller pegs down here that you're going to use to make your shapes. Now, I really like this kit because it comes with the peg caps, and I'm going to show you how to use those when we get into the demonstration, and I know you're going to like that feature of this kit. What's really fun, now we always like to include instructions and patterns. This particular kit is coming with six different patterns, so you're going to be able to make really fun loop shapes, and look at all of these here. This would make a really cool pair of chandelier earrings. And there's that wonderful clasp. It's always great to know how to make a clasp for a bracelet or, of course, a necklace. And then this little guy, that's really fun as well. Something very dainty. Probably one of my most favorite things to do is to use the blank pattern that comes with your kit. Now, you are going to want to make many copies of this because this is where your imagination will come to life and you can create stars and crosses and oh my goodness all kinds of different shapes for anything that you want to do. Really you can use the jig for home decor, for paper crafting and of course jewelry design. To get started with your Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit, you are going to need some tools that are sold separately. You will need a pair of wire cutters, a pair of round nose pliers, and a pair of nylon jaw flat pliers. Now these are really handy and I use them in all of my wire working. They're really great to remove the kinks from the wire. They also help to strengthen the wire and to flatten your pieces. Now I'm going to use one of the patterns that comes with the kit. And this is a really cool loop. And I like to use a T-pin or a beading awl. And that will help me to poke through those holes on the pattern so that I can then insert my metal pegs. So I'm going to take one of the smaller pegs and insert it right here where it says start. And then remember this kit comes with the peg caps. So I'm going to take that cap and I'm just going to place it right over the bottom and I want to make sure that it's really nice and tight. Then I'm going to turn that back over and I will continue to put my pegs and my peg caps as I build my pattern. So we're just going to insert. The metal pegs in all of the holes. And this is so cool because these double pegs are really going to allow us to get that really cool looped shape. Now I'm working with artistic wire and this is 20 gauge wire. You can work with anywhere from 18 to 26. Those are some of my most favorite sizes. And by the way, the higher the number, the thinner the wire, and the lower the number, the thicker the wire. So we're just going to cut off a piece and then we're going to use our round nose pliers to make a loop. Most of the time you are going to be making a loop to start your pattern. 
Now I'm working down the nose of the plier so that I have a large loop that will go around that metal peg and then I'm just going to place that where it says start and then just follow that pattern. So I'm going around to, this is the fun part, <laughs> then I go around three and four and then five and you see how I'm just looping. Very, very loose, very fun, just letting that wire flow. The really cool thing about artistic wire is that it's soft. So you can see that I have my loop completed and then very carefully I'm just going to walk that up the pegs and then with this particular pattern it does call for me to wrap the end of that wire around the top. Then I'm going to bring in my nylon jaws and this is where it will flatten the wire and it will also harden the wire. Then I'm going to take my wire cutters and holding both ends of the wire because I do not want them to fly, I will trim that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and close that top loop. Oh, look at this, so much fun. So right there you have your finished piece you can add a bunch of these together to make a necklace. This would be an amazing little charm on a card. You could add a bunch of them together for a really cool border on a scrapbook page. And how much fun would this be for a home decor item like a cake plate? Now when you're all finished, all you have to do is take your pegs out and remove your pattern and remember to store these because you're going to use these patterns over and over again. I hope you enjoyed learning how to work with your Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit.